What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in my BoxyCharm. So if you guys want to see me try on everything I got in my BoxyCharm, then just keep watching. Let's open her up. I am so thrilled about this box because I saw some things on Instagram and they were amazing. So this month's theme is Peace, Love, and Boxy. I think that's so incredibly cute. It has little, little cacti on it. Adorable, perfect for spring and festival season. Apparently Coachella's going on. I don't go to those things, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna dive in whatever I'm feeling. Okay, <gasps> ooh, okay. So first we have here is a Luxie little brush set. It's called the Summer Days Brush Set. I saw this on Instagram. I was very, 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 very excited. We have three brushes right here. I love the handle. It has like a pink to orange ombre. I feel like these look like the sky when the sun is setting in the summer. So freaking cute. We got this super soft brush. Oh my god. First one is the 512 small contouring brush, which I'm really, really excited for. I've been looking for new contouring brushes, so very happy to try this out. And then we also have the Luxie 245 small shader brush right here. It's kind of a thin, a little bit dense for an eyeshadow brush. And then we also have the Luxie 209 large shader brush. Seems like it'd be perfect for applying like a really quick sweep across the eyes. You know what, let's try the contouring brush out right now, shall we? So I got my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this contour shade right here. Dip that in there really good. We're just gonna start. Whoa, okay. That is precision. Whoa. Now I'm like not that great at applying contour. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to definitely work with the brush like a little bit, but so far it's really nice. I'm gonna go down the nose a little bit too. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm pretty impressed by this brush. Luxie bringing it again. Okay, going back in here, we have a, okay, Bodyography Bali Bronze Eye Pencil. Looking at the bottom, it looks like a very just coppery, bronzy kind of a pencil. Okay, so I remember I did get a lip pencil from Bodyography and I liked the color, but I didn't like how sharp the pencil was. I felt like it was just too harsh against my lips. This kind of seems like a similar pencil, so I'm just gonna like swatch it really quick. Yeah, it's definitely feeling very, very harsh. The color's nice and creamy though, so maybe it will go on better, but it's like a really just simple, almost shimmery bronze. It's actually really, really nice. I hope it kind of works out and doesn't like stab my eyes. Before we apply that pencil though, I'm gonna reach for the eyeshadow palette in here. I did know we were getting one this month and I have kind of like mixed feelings on it. This is from Pure Cosmetics. It is the Festival 12 piece pressed pigment palette. Now the packaging is just like everything. I think it's so cute, so fun. I just love this whole summer thing we have going on in BoxyCharm. So I've never actually tried a Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow before. This will be an experience. Oh wow, we have like a little sample that's inside of the palette. That's really cool. It's the Get It Grip Endurance Eyeshadow Primer. <gasps> I'm gonna have to definitely try this out later and let you guys know how I feel about it. But I definitely wanna judge the eyeshadows like on a concealer first. So, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. I love how at the top it says, treat every day like a festival. So cute, it has a nice mirror to it. Oh my goodness, these shadows though. So it looks like we have some kind of like metallic slash shimmery shades up top and then these two right here. And then we have like these pressed glitters right there, which I feel like that's been a trend lately, the pressed glitters in eyeshadows, which they're okay, usually not my favorite. And then we also have one, two, three, four, just matte shade. Okay, going in with a metallic shade, Free Spirit. <gasps> Ooh, that is nice and creamy, looks exactly like my skin tone, so you'll probably have a little trouble seeing it. Okay, so here are all of the shades right down my arm. I'm really not the greatest at swatching, but these are all of them. It does definitely look like a very fun palette. You get your pops of color, but a lot of neutral tones to play with. Free Spirit, Psychedelic, Good Vibes, and Peace. So we have Epic, Gypsy, Wild Child. It's this bright pink one, like, oh my goodness. And then we have our pressed glitter right here, which is 24 Karat Magic. Then we have All Night, Hidden Desert, Sunset, and Fireworks all the way at the bottom. I really do like how nice and creamy the shimmer slash metallic-y shadows are. The matte shadows also went on really, really nicely. I feel like with the pressed glitters, you might have to work a little bit with them. I'm just gonna wipe them off really quick, see how well they come off the arm. Oh, I'm getting glitter 
everywhere. Okay, this pink one isn't really coming off. So I feel like the pink's gonna stain my skin because it's like not coming off. There's still a little bit on there. So I think I'm gonna avoid the pink for now because I, I know that's gonna stain my lid, but literally glitter is everywhere and I kind of expected it, but I don't like when that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into the shade Epic right here. It's like a nice orange and we're gonna use that as my crease shade. So let's see how well this goes on. Whoa, okay, it's very pigmented, which is really nice. All right, next I'm, I wanna dip into this like really nice orangey brownie color. <laughs> it's a nice matte and we're gonna try putting this into the outer corner see what color this brings oh it's another nice really pretty orange i think we're gonna bring that all the way to like halfway into my lid and then blend it into the crease okay then i think i want to go into the shade sunset it's like a metallic shade right here i'm just gonna try using it with my finger to apply see how good th Ooh, that is so pretty it's like a red i wasn't expecting the red. it's like a pinky red Ooh, that applies really well with the finger. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this all night shade, see if we can darken up the edges. This is like this really nice cool cocoa brown. I'm just gonna dab this on the edges. Maybe bring it a little bit into the crease, just a smidgen. I'm gonna dip back into that epic shade that we used for our crease. I don't wanna lose that color. I really like that color. We're just gonna lightly use it to kind of blend everything in the crease out. Okay, I kind of feel like I'm obligated to put one of these glitter shades on. I think I wanna go with Firework. It's like pink and gold flex firework. I don't know how well this is gonna... Ooh, that like really sticks. Whoa. I definitely... Okay, that's not easy to apply. It totally covered up like the rest of my look and when it sticks like it sticks i don't know how i feel about this and the glitter is getting everywhere so definitely apply it before you apply your other makeup let's try and save it i don't know how i'm gonna apply hidden desert again to the outer corner see if that applies over it a little bit i feel like i'm just gonna have to take all my concealer off because that's the only way to get this glitter off at least we can kind of use the concealer to help clean it up a little bit i'm gonna kind of use this free spirit color to highlight the inner corner of my eye i wish it was kind of brighter I just feel like i'm getting glitter all over my brushes i'm really not happy about that <laughs> then i'm gonna take the sunset color we have and apply that to my lower lash line then take a little bit of the Hidden Desert shade, apply that to the outer portion of my lower lash line. Going in also in with All Night, and we're gonna do that in like just the very outer corner. Okay, I will say overall that this pure palette, I like everything in here except for these pressed glitters. For some reason, pressed glitters and I don't mesh very well, but overall, like every other shade blended out beautifully. The colors are gorgeous. But now that we have our eyeshadow done, let's try this eyeliner. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it over these glitters. It was a big mistake to apply the glitters, but we're gonna try it. Okay, this is literally just taking the glitter off of my eye. <laughs> um, that's awkward. I will say there is some kind of color coming out, but with this look, it's so hard to see. I don't know. I feel like it keeps scratching my eyes too. I'm gonna have to work with this. Maybe like without eyeshadow, it's really nice for like a quick sweep or something, but Mmm. Oops, I totally forgot to use my Lexi brushes. <laughs> Going back into this palette, I'm probably gonna take the shade Epic again. Let's just use the big brush for Epic. And like line up here. Ooh, <gasps> that applies the shadow so beautifully. Ooh, I am impressed. I'm curious if this shader brush would be any useful with these glitters. Like I know it's probably best to use it with your finger, but... <gasps> Oh wow, it actually works better with the brush. So much easier to control. You get a lot more of the glitter. Like it's a lot more dense. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up my eyes with some mascara really quick. All right, am I getting glitter in my mascara? I really hope not. <gasps> I got glitter, no! All right, I spent way too much time on the glitter. So let's move on, shall we? So I'm feeling a two, but this is the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. Now we actually got a liquid eyeshadow in our last BoxyCharm and I really, really liked it once I kind of learned how it worked. This looks so pretty. It almost looks like a white iridescent kind of thing with some purple, maybe a little bit of yellow in it as well. It doesn't look fully like holographic. 
that is pretty uh, i don't even think you're going to be able to see this gloss but it literally is just like a clear gloss with some kind of like shifting glitter flecks in them they're not like super large but it is like a really pretty fun lip gloss i feel like you could totally get away with wearing this to work i wouldn't say it's crazy like festival crazy but it is really pretty i feel like it's building too like you're you can build up the sparkle which is so fun <laughs> okay last but not least in the box we have the artist contour diamond glow powder this is a loose powder highlight i've seen this on instagram and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of nervous i've never tried a loose powder highlight before plus this is in the shade purple dream which also scares me oh i just ripped the box the box is really cute though it's like a marbly effect i'm also like really nervous about just purple highlighters in general they're not typically my favorite Ooh, okay this doesn't look purple at all it looks like pink with like gold flecks okay there are some purple flecks in it oh my gosh almost like a warm peachy kind of vibe i'm just gonna dip a little bit into the cap i don't think you need a lot for this Ooh, okay yeah that's purple you wouldn't expect looking at it but that is a purple Ooh. that's really pretty but as i said i'm not like a big fan of like purple highlights overall though it's not bad i kind of like it it's growing on me maybe it'll be like a really pretty like inner corner highlight i could totally see me using it as like an inner corner highlight on the daily all right guys so that is the end of my boxy charm video Overall though, it was not a bad box. I actually think I will continue to use a majority of the products in this box. I really hope you liked my video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the day, what did you guys think of this month's box? Please let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products out before? Did you get any of these products in your BoxyCharm? Also, if you are new to my channel, hi. I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the little notification bell that is located right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!